Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. If Rangers want to remain champions and set a real legacy, there is no time for resting on laurels. Something both Steven Gerrard and Ross Wilson will be aware of. When it comes to transfer rumours though, there is no smoke without fire and after being linked with a host of players in the summer, it could be that the ones that got away could very much still be on the radar. And as we've seen in the past 12 months, one of the best ways to save money is by avoiding paying transfer fees. By utilising the pre-contract market with the following players all approaching the magical 6 month point in their contracts. And all of whom have been previously linked with moves to Rangers. Danny Lodoki, The Dutch youth player who initially might have been considered as a replacement for Connor Goldson, but now should be considered as an upgrade on all but Philip Hallander in the middle of defence. And an opportunity to sign a player who could turn such a huge profit, a comparison to Virgil van Dijk is an easy one to make. If anything, Doki is already a better player at the same age. Zinedine Ferhat Algerian international Ferhat has looked as though he might be going to return to Liga 1. However, he has stayed at France's second tier at Nîmes, a creative midfielder who would be perfect for the often troublesome right-handed side of attack, and would immediately add depth to the first team squad. Mirko Ivanic Red Star Belgrade's most creative influence isn't too shabby in front of goal himself with 20 goals and 16 assists. It's easy to see why the 27 year old was subject to a failed £3 million bid from Rangers, but on a pre-contract the deal would be even more of a bargain. Any of these players would improve our squad and not having to fork out transfer fees means there's plenty scope for Rangers to bank an awful lot of money if they decide to sell their key men and replace them with these three. So what do you guys think then? I personally think it's good to see these Rangers targets haven't signed new contracts. I think that gives us the opportunity to get them signed on a pre-contract and save a lot of money and I think that means then we have the opportunity to sell players and bring in a lot of money for the club. But let me know what you think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.